Yep, I am ready. All right. Hi, Shay. How are you today? I'm very well. How are you? Very good. Thank you. I'm very excited to talk to you. I enjoyed Alex Weedle so much. It was so moving and educational, again, for me as an American, as all the other small X films have been. When we think of racism here as Black Americans, we kind of see it in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. And we don't think of the effects of other Black people in other places. So to, to see the Steve McQueen's films has been fascinating, educational, eye-opening, mind-blowing, and all of these things. Stepping into, into your role as Alex Weedle, I'd like to talk to you about embodying him and walking that fine line between embodying someone and imitating someone where they're a still a living, breathing person. What was that experience like for you? It was, um, it was very difficult considering the, the subject matter. Um, you know, going into set every day, you have to really take yourself deep into a place that uh, a lot of people don't really tread. Um, so it was difficult, but it was aided by such great people around me. You know, we had Alex uh, surrounding me all the time and me and him in close conversation. Um, and it was really nice that he was still here and living, breathing, because if I had any questions or anything, I could just call his phone uh, or meet up with him and actually, you know, talk. Um, and having Steve there as well, Steve is such a great mentor, someone that really took me under his wing um, and just made sure I knew what I was doing. Um, and if I had any questions, queries or worries, he was, he was always uh, welcoming with arms open. Um, so, yeah. What was that fine line like for you to make sure you're doing justice to the living person, mm. but still performing as an actor and being true and authentic to who you are, to who you are as a performer? Yeah, I mean, the pressure was really off because Alex is such a lovely person. He, um, <laughs> he, he really put a lot of his trust in me. Like the, for the first conversation, he said, there's something about you. He said, I know you're going to do such a great job. Um, but obviously me as the person, I really want to respect Alex's story. So there are certain things I would ask him um, that would, you know, what type of music he listened to, what his favorite foods were, um, where he kind of was, where his mind was at particular moments in time. So, you know, him in the prison, like, what was he really thinking? How was he really feeling? Um, him when he first entered into Brixton as a 15 year old wide eyed puppy, how was he feeling? You know, these things. Um, but no one wants to ever imitate. Like we have to use our own experiences to aid um, Alex as a character. Um, and I think that allows people to really relate uh, and really form a three D, three dimensional character. Mm -hmm. There were some moments in the movie that were just so heartbreaking for me and you performed them so well. There was a scene where you were invited over to the family house for dinner mm. and you're just trying to scarf down the food, scarf down the food. And it mm. just made me just so sad to think about that and his life experiences and what led him to that point. And then there was another instance where you're, where um, Alex is talking to a cellmate and he's saying, I had no one, I had no one to teach me things. There was just literally no one. Where do you sink into yourself to pull out that emotion? And looking back at when you went to the casting for this role, what did you do to land hmm. the role? Yeah. Um, I think this is something I'm very gifted with is that um, I'm good at really looking at something called visualizing, picturing something and putting myself in that situation. Um, so that's all I really did. You know, I just had to really take a look at my own life, look at all the good, the things that I have, a loving family, a roof over my head, all these things, and just really, really think and delve into that all being taken away. Um, and once I, cause you can never really get to grips with it. So that struggle, um, you know, in itself helped aid Alex as a character because he's struggling with his own form of identity, his own struggle, his own, why does no one want me? So the struggle of me fighting, okay, I do have all these things, but I also, in Alex, I don't, really helped. Like it was a constant, uh, constant battle. Um, but you know, like pr the prison scenes, like 
I was actually scared, you know what I mean? Like this, it, we were filming in a real prison. So that there in itself wasn't really, or was acting, but I was cold, physically cold. It was empty. I had no one but me and Robbie G, another fellow actor who in a sense is so much more experienced than me. So I have that actual real life intimidation of, oh, I'm working with some big boys here. Um, so I really just kind of like took those things and just put myself in those shoes, if that makes sense. It's a, it's a lot, but um, you know, I think that's the art of acting really. We just have to really put ourselves in their shoes. And I think, yeah, something I'm quite gifted with. What did you do? What did you do for when you went in to read for this part? Did you do a scene from the movie? What did you do to, yeah. to sell yourself to get this role? <laughs> sell myself. Not sell yourself, no. you know what I mean. <laughs> no, um, I, so yeah, I, I met with the casting director firstly, and we just had a, a general chat just to get to know each other. And from the offset, from the jump, he, he said there was something about me. He said, you have, um, you have a depth about you that I really think uh, you need for Alex's character. Um, and then I went down through the through the rounds. I got to read the script, and they asked me to pick three different scenes of my choice um, that look at Alex's journey. So from him uh, firstly going into Brixton to him, then six months in, then to him down the line where he's a full-on Brixtonian. Mm -hmm. So I actually had quite a bit, a lot of freedom actually within the audition phase, um, which is really nice, really really nice. Mm -hmm. How, when did you know that this was a path you wanted to take in life, that you wanted to be an actor, that this, mm. this probably was a, the thing for you? Uh, from six, 15, 15. Uh, I always did acting. I did acting from in drama classes from year seven. Um, and it was just a place for me to really express myself without really having judgment. Um, a place where I could be foolish, be a joker and not be uh, targeted for it or you know uh, looked or looked down upon for doing that but it was about 15 where I was like no I can I can definitely do this I enjoy it so much and I can't pitch myself doing anything else. Mm -hmm. Now that 15 year old boy is doing his first major role a huge role uh, yeah. that the worldwide audience is going to see but you still have a family who is going to see it first what did your what has your family's reaction been to seeing mm -hmm. you embody Alex Weedle in this first major role for you? They were all surprised, um, all surprised. I don't think they, obviously me as, my, me as an actor, I, I, I know what I'm capable of and I know what I can do, but you know, <laughs> when you tell your parents and your family, this is what I wanna be, they don't, they, obviously they're gonna support you, but until they see the work, they're not gonna, they, I think they don't fully invest. And it was that surprise, they were all shocked at how far I could take it um, and how, a lot of tears <laughs> um, and how different it was for me as a person. So yeah, a lot of tears, a lot of emotions, laughter, but a lot of love after as well. A lot of love and a lot of support. Did so. you find, did you find after they had a chance to see it that they began to share their own experiences from that era and what it was like? during that time for black people in Britain and Brixton and all these different towns? Did it oh, yeah. make way for a segue for those conversations between you and them? Mm, I had a very, very emotional conversation with my uncle. Um, and he, cause he was shocked. He said he didn't know what to expect, but his life, he said what he didn't expect was to see his life on, the, on that screen. Mm. He said, what you don't know about me is that I, I went through this. I had been to foster homes. I had done all this, you know what I mean? And, uh, we had a very, very emotional conversation. Tears, 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 tears. <laughs> um, but it's good because we can grow from this, you know, like the more you know about your own family and how what they had to go through, the more you respect them, the more you then put them on a pedestal and um, definitely take their words for wisdom, for sure. How, with that, now the experience, with the experience on your belt, it's in release, you're in the middle of filming something else right now. How has that transformed you as an actor or, or changed you at all in your approach to, to future roles? Yeah. Um, well, what I'm doing at the moment is a lot more lighthearted than Alex Weetle. It's a romantic comedy. So um, <laughs> I am enjoying it. I would say I'm enjoying the experience a lot more because I can, you know, there's a lot more laughter on set and things like that. But what I really got from, from filming with Steve, especially is that, 
you know, the intricacies of film acting and screen acting is that subtlety, everything reads on a camera. So I don't have to, I don't have to do too much. I don't have to perform. And doing Alex really gave me a sense of weight and a sense of grounding um, that I can really bring to all my roles. So I must ask you, totally unrelated to film, to, to anything, there's gonna be a big boxing match taking place over there this weekend mm -hmm. with Anthony Joshua and Kubrat Pulev. Are you a boxing fan? And are you gonna watch that this weekend? If you have time, if you're not shooting. I'm not much of a boxing fan, but I do watch when it's on. So uh, I probably will be with friends or my housemates, if anything, and my housemates are into, into, um, into boxing. So yeah, me and him will definitely, I didn't even know Anthony Joshua was fighting this weekend, but if he is, I definitely will be watching that for sure. Yeah, he, uh, I thought of him even watching this film and he uh, recently has been very vocal about the black experience in Britain and what people are mm -hmm. facing. He's really taking a different tone in his career with, along with him and with you and projects like this. How do you view yourself now in the whole conversations of uh, black young British people speaking out against racism? Do you feel like an ambassador or how do you see yourself fitting within those conversations? Um, I'm definitely there. I'm definitely in the center of it. I think this is what also you, uh, attracted me to the role is that it, 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 um, it uh, will allow people to educate themselves and see through a different medium, um, not just books. Um, you know, for me, I'm not much of a reader, so I always love to watch things and, and that then helps me educate my own self. Um, and I definitely feel, I wouldn't say it's my responsibility, but with the platform that I have, I think I definitely have to use that to educate and to encourage people to, to think the right way and to think differently from however they're thinking now.